हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू शॉर्ट सेल्स क्लासेस वेलकम टू शॉर्ट सेल्स क्लासेस वेल इन आवर टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चंस सम पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे एंड This is from IIT Jam Geology paper. So this is a very important and very interesting video about geology. So we have assembled some past year questions of IIT Jam. So this is a very important video for all those who are going to uh, appear for the IIT Jam exam. That's friends of IIT Jam because in this video you will be getting a complete idea about this thing. Uh, so in the coming years, that is 2020, 21, 22, and in the further years as well. You will be getting complete idea about it. That what is going to be there, what's not going to be there, and uh, all of you have started preparing for it, but you don't have a complete idea about the type of questions which we are going to, which are going to come. And type of questions is very important. So we'll be we'll be giving you some idea about the type of questions because it will make you familiar, more and more familiar with the questions which you are going to face in the examination hall. so that you will not be in uh, some adverse situation when you will be getting some those sort of questions which uh, you know is completely unfamiliar to you so we will be we will be making you accustomed with the type of questions and we'll also explain you to how to crack the questions so it's not a very hard uh, not to crack it can be done very easily if you if you practice a lot and if you solve the past year papers so that's why we are here with uh, the past year questions with uh, for you so that you will be able to handle this efficiently and uh, even if the question pattern is mcq type in this exam but we will be giving you full solutions of the questions and it's my request to that uh, please keep your paper and pen uh, along with you so that you can write all the notes which i'll be giving you so we'll give you full solutions of this video along with the step by step explanations as well so explanations will also be given to you step by step explanations will be given to you. given to you along with that we will give you you know kind of uh, tips that how to manage time in exam okay so this thing we'll also give you and we'll discuss some theory part as well along with uh, the diagrams if required any so this is going to be very interesting video and very important video for all of you and uh, please watch it till the end because this is for you people only the first question which uh, we're going to solve today is on your screens now dicroidium is known from the what panchamadi formation rani ganj formation panchet formation or denwa formation so dicroidium what is dicroidium It is an extinct genus of forklift seed ferns that were distributed over the Gondwana region during the Triassic period. Well, what is Triassic period? A Triassic period is that period that is around 250 to 200 uh, million years ago. Period. Their fossils are known, you know, from South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, South America, Antarctica. This this type of places. Okay, so let me write it down. The so Dicroidium is an extinct genus. Is an extinct. genus of forklift forklift seed ferns forklift seed ferns that were distributed over the gondwana that were distributed over the gondwana during the triassic period you all have heard about jurassic now this is triassic and the fossils are known from south africa then australia then new zealand South America 
एंड अंटार्कटिका एंड अंटार्कटिका ओके सो द लीव्स आर फेमिलियर टू दोज ऑफ मॉडर्न फर्स सो इन केस ऑफ द क्रोइडियम द लीव्स आर सिमिलर टू दोज similar to those of modern ferns modern ferns but like all seed ferns like all seed ferns like uh, which is known as uh, teidospermatophyta the spermato Phyta, were thick and were thick and had substantial cuticles. Had substantial cuticles. And the decoradium differs from other seeds. The first from other seed fern leaves in having a in having a forked rashes forked rashes giving the appearance of two form giving the appearance of two ferns leaf joint two ferns leaf joint at the base at the base now these plants had make a you know male and female reproductive organs these plants have male or female reproductive organs okay following the form generic nomenclature following the form generic nomenclature generic nomenclature of paleobotany paleobotany male pollen bearing that is a male pollen bearing structures are separately are separately named let me write it down terrestrial and the female structure and the female structure so the correct option to this question is option number c that is punch formation so we can write that option c is correct let's move to next question of this video so let's move to next question and we'll see that what is our next question and uh, let's solve that particular question the next question is on your screen now permian is a or an eon era epoch or is it period so a or an both are given here so, so because they both vowel and consonant are in the options so permian is a geological period okay so permian is a geological period is a geological period okay so it is a geological period uh, you know a lot of periods have happened in the history of our you know development path and uh, a lot of periods are given over there like jurassic and uh, 
Triassic as I told some minutes ago and so it's, that's why that's how it's a period and a system and a system we can say a system which spans which spans around 47 million years 47 million years it's a huge time period 1 million means 10 lakh so imagine 47 million so 47 million years from the end of Carboniferous period years from the end of the end of the Carboniferous period so this is also you have to remember for your other MCQs as well, Carboniferous period, skip baad hua tha, ye wala period, okay, so Carboniferous period of 298.9 million years ago, which was known as MYA, Mya, okay, and it lasted to the beginning of the to the beginning of the Triassic period beginning of the Triassic period that is 251 million years ago or 250 million years ago you can also write so it's the last period so it was the last period of the Paleozoic you know era after you know Carboniferous period as Mia in the beginning of the Triassic period is 251 million ago so this was the last period of the Paleozoic era. So this also you have to uh, mention over here. That is the last year of the uh, Paleozoic era, which was uh, existing at that point of time. So it is the Paleozoic era. Okay, last period of the Paleozoic era. Now the concept, the concept of the Permian was introduced in 1841. This also to be noted down. The concept of Permian of Permian was introduced in was introduced in 1841 by the then geologist. by the geologist Sir Roderick Murchison who named it after the city of Palm city of Palm okay so this was the explanation so according to it it was a period okay it was a time period so option D is the correct option so this question is very clear from it so since it was a period of you know of uh, which lasted from for 47 million years ago from the end of the carboniferous period so it is a period we can see simply so option d is our correct option so we can write that option d is correct okay so option d is correct so i hope that uh, you all understood this so we have discussed two questions of past years from IIT jam geology paper I hope you all understood but still if you have any kind of you no know, doubts or queries in your mind then please don't keep those queries or doubts in your mind you are free to call us or you can whatsapp us any of your problems anytime our number is 9836793076 and our website is www.saurabhsarclasses.com You can visit this website for the information regarding Saurabh's classes and for watching this video a lot of thanks a lot of thanks from my side thank you students